Our next speaker for today is uh, Dr. Ilkay Altintis. Uh, Ilkay is the Chief Data Science Officer and Founding Director of the Workflows for Data Science Center of Excellence and the Wi-Fi Lab at San Diego Supercomputer Center at UC San Diego. She has worked on different aspects of scientific workflows as a principal investigator and in other leadership roles across a wide range of cross-disciplinary projects. She is a co-initiator of and an active contributor to the open source Kepler scientific workflow system. And with that, I'd like to welcome Ilkay and uh, it is all yours. So Wi-Fi Lab develops science-driven technologies with a fire management community. What this means is uh, we actually, our mission is to be a data lab that brings data and models together with AI techniques so data can be effectively used in fire science. And with our public and private sector partners, we also at times uh, demonstrate solutions that wrap these data and computing technologies with fire science and uh, use inspired interfaces. So we have existing solutions you might have heard of uh, for initial attack response and edge computing and processing at the fire's edge. And also today uh, we are demonstrating burn for 3D. And that uh, why fire commons came out of this need that uh, fire models in general, but especially next generation fire science needs data and high resolution data uh, at that from many sources. Uh, we've seen a number of them today uh, from sensing to uh, fuel databases and uh, weather stations and satellites and many other sources. Uh, but it's diverse data and it comes with pain points. So how can we generate a wildland fire data hub uh, and a back end to serve data from these many sources generated by many sources. Uh, in a way, uh, we have a common backend infrastructure and standards for ingestion, curation, integration of data, and at the same time, uh, make it more findable, accessible, inter interpretable, and interoperable with each other. And when uh, more insights using AI are needed, uh, we can provide training data and benchmarks that's necessary uh, that we refer to as AI readiness. And the goal here is if we can accomplish this, um, the data could be used and reused by community to create new solutions. So the goal for Wi-Fi Commons is to take care of some things so we can be a multiplier for solutions. And at the same time to enable teamwork and AI collaborations because uh, the data is coming together in such a way that uh, it's going to be hard over time to really get insights from data. So we'll have this too much data, too little insight situation that we are seeing across the board uh, in all sciences and the society. Uh, but in fire science, I think uh, this is an achievable one. Um, so overall, what you're looking at is how can we provide value to the data as we go through some steps. And my fire commons here makes the bottom three layers, so to say, uh, data and model commons. So not just data, but we also create a common catalog of models and work on how data and models fit each other. And you know the same data can serve multiple models if some operators and transformers are taken care of. So that's some of the work we are uh, doing as a research in the lab. And also, um, through an AI gateway, enabling more AI researchers. But once that's there, how can that data be wrapped in fire science workflows and burn for three like uh, use inspired solutions? So what we are showing today in that sense is that bridge um, that was done between next generation fire science using fast fuels and quick fire and other uh, sensing capabilities. And in a way uh, that data becomes available both to the community for other problems to solve, but also in use inspired interfaces, in this case, the Burn Pro 3D tool that you'll see Kevin demonstrate. Uh, just switching back to Burn Pro 3D and Next Generation Fire Science, there are some special things there that we learned through some workshops with uh, the community. And we talked to about 200, more than 200 people actually, to understand what the real need was a couple of years ago. And what we learned was high resolution 3D and dynamic changing fire environment data is a need. And using that in 
flexible, uh, faster to run and interpretable fire models like uh, quick fire uh, is a need. And once these are solved, what we also learn, but they can be used uh, for effective uh, and more optimized planning of prescribed burns. So Burn Pro 3D came out of that need and understanding from the community that prescribed burns are uh, harder to uh, or difficult to plan safely and execute at scale without such a tool in place and investments in science and technology. So we were funded by the National Science Foundation and Los Alamos National Lab, uh, a number of projects to create the science part of it, right? Um, and Burn Pro 3D is a decision support tool in that sense uh, for, or decision making tool, I would say, um, to plan safe and effective prescribed burns using uh, 3D science. So here, our goal is to create fast 3D data and models um, so that uh, we could go into those details to accurately understand fire behavior. And you've seen already these data sets and models uh, up to this point. Um, so as Ross mentioned, that first 3D fuels data set at the continental scale at one meter resolution, for instance, was generated as synthetic fuels. And we are now on ramping uh, LIDAR, uh, aerial and terrestrial LIDAR data to those uh, data sets um, as we make progress. So Burn Pro 3D in that sense has four pillars. Uh, fast fuels that you've seen uh, is the 3D fuels model. True trees is where what we refer to as true trees uh, is uh, this on ramps of LIDAR data into fast fuels so that we could get three positions and heights. Drip torch is a new custom ignition pattern tool that Kevin will show. And quick fire, um, you heard from um, um, Rod early on uh, is the prescribed fire simulator that we are using in the background. Just to give you a quick um, sort of what is special about these, um, fast fuels you already heard, but in Burn Pro 3D, currently at least how we are interpreting it is um, looking at these crowns, voxelized or voxelized <laughs> as Rod's referred to it, two meter horizontal resolution, one meter vertical resolution. And when uh, we get through trees on ramp into it, um, yeah, we also look for three positions, three heights and canopy areas in LIDAR plots. And, uh, you know, using some machine learning approaches, uh, we are also now trying to also more identify species and diameter uh, combined with FIA plot data. Um, Drip Torch is a new tool. It's a software that was developed by uh, a number of uh, our team members, uh, including uh, Russ and Kevin. Um, that generates, it generates uh, ignition patterns um, and coordinates uh, for fire modeling. So through a visual interface, uh, we can actually define and show uh, how the ignition patterns can be generated for a burn unit and uh, configure that as an ignition with other parameters uh, around that ignition pattern uh, as an input for the prescribed fire simulation using quick fire. And you already heard quick fire. Um, so it uses this high resolution field data and uh, drip torch ignition patterns uh, to come up with uh, many products of the fire itself, including um, emission and uh, consumption patterns and smoke. So when we have that, um, we can have models before and after of the landscapes and we are working on more explainable, better visualizations of what happens. So decisions can be generated and we also can generate burn windows uh, effectively uh, through ensembles like 900 uh, thousands of runs for the same burn unit. So we can look at different scenarios. Uh, what uh, Kevin will show you next is a burn planning user experience uh, that starts by uh, selecting the burn area, uh, selecting LIDAR data or fast fuels, designing of ignition patterns and environmental conditions. So we can run, as I mentioned, 
many ensembles, hundreds of them uh, for the burn unit. So we can look at uh, different objectives uh, that was defined for the land as an output of the burn. And based on that, understanding burn windows, what are the effective conditions to generate those prescriptions? So uh, the burn boss who's planning the uh, burn uh, can make uh, decisions based on uh, those burn windows. I'm gonna stop here and stop sharing. And, you know, I don't know if the slides will be available, but here's my contact information I can put in the chat as well. All right. Thanks, Ilkay. And uh, I just want to say that uh, Ilkay leads an amazing team there at the Wi-Fi Commons. I mean, they have uh, experts in artificial intelligence, machine learning, uh, and are using these uh, multiple runs to to continue to to fine tune these next generation uh, fire models and, and burn pro 3D. So some some really exciting work there. And uh, you know, Rod, Lynn, Russ, uh, Kevin are all involved in this as well. So